What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Brian Garcia Torado and today there's a new sheriff in town because we're going to be interviewing Eliana Sheriff, but you guys might know her as Ellie in space. Now Ellie was once a TV news reporter, but today she has a prominent voice in all things Tesla, SpaceX, and Starlink, but she's got a couple other things up her sleeve. Guys, this is the Community Carpool. <laughs> be rude let me introduce you okay so we're here with somebody super famous super cool out of this world <laughs> no pun intended i'm here with ellie from ellie in space ellie you wanna if you could in your elevator pitch because you do quite a lot if you could tell us who you are and what you do absolutely um i'm a former tv news anchor with almost 10 years of experience in the news industry and i decided to take those skills i'm kidding i'll i'll i'll, I'll pop the stick <laughs> i was like wow that's so it is and take the box news and cover um space spacex related news full-time on youtube so i i never thought that this would be you know my future and i'm absolutely excited about it especially because I'm covering so many things uh, about our future, right? Like the idea of going to Mars. I like to ask if you're originally from Austin, because I feel like nobody's originally from Austin. I don't think they are. Um, <laughs> but where'd they all go? I'm from LA, original. Oh, you're one of those. I'm one of those. You <laughs> I'm know. not even from here either. Yeah. Sorry. So I have lived all over for TV news. Oh, okay. oh yeah. So like right out of college, I, I graduated. I applied for news stations all across the country and South Dakota bit. So I moved to South Dakota, sight unseen in five days. So what actually made you want to get into like TV news reporting? I went to college and I got an English degree, which is like so basic. I'm like embarrassed to tell people about it, right? But I could read and write, so that's good. But basically I was like, wow, I remember in eighth grade, I did this like, you know, TV news like class and I, I really liked it. So. Maybe, maybe there's hope. Maybe it's not too late to get into the news business. Cause traditionally you gotta go to journalism school for four years, you know? You gotta like do all the mock newscasts and I had no experience. I ended up hiring um, a guy named Jay Jackson who actually plays Kurt Happily on the show Parks and Rec. So if there was any per uh, Parks and Rec fans in here, the guy who said, you heard with Purd, the judge. Hello, I'm Purd Happily and welcome to You Heard with Purd. Um, he was actually my mentor, so he helped me shoot what we call a reel. We submitted that all around the country. I kind of just, you know, paid him to help me make it. I had no experience other than, hey, here's my potential. And South Dakota was like, you're hired. And uh, the rest is history. So I did watch some of your old stuff. I think I, t I told you that. The news? Uh, yeah, on your YouTube channel. If you go oh, all the way back to the I big... apologize. <laughs> So when you started doing the YouTube, it went from like your news reporting. Right. And then you kind of started doing some vlogs. Yeah, I got into Starlink. My ex-boyfriend randomly one day was like, hey, I got this Starlink unit. It's in beta testing. We should make a video. And I'm like, what's Starlink? I, I made a video and actually the first attempt to make the video was like completely foiled. Like everything went wrong. And I was like, no one even cares about this. Like this is a waste of my time. Had I not, you know, gone through with that second attempt who knows what i'd be doing when you started like diving into like hey i'm not an expert on this but i'm diving into this i'm covering it did you get any pushback from the community or from people that are like hey you're kind of like faking your yeah i think that most people understood um like i the thing is i never tried to put on that front gotcha. you know like i've asked stupid questions before that um maybe other it, no question is really stupid right like i i, I think that's kind of like a myth but i've tried to make that clear so and you know what, the nice thing is that the internet can be a very scary, um, unwelcoming place. And I would say, you know, at, at least 90% of all of my feedback is positive. Um, about the time that I was deciding to quit my job in news, there was a Tesla event here that I flew into Austin. And, you know, people were having me like sign their Teslas in Sharpie. And I'm like, dude, I don't even have that big of a channel, but like I have a presence. And I have, you know, some people, people know who I am in this space. And so how much can I grow that? Um, it it kind of like sealed the deal for me.
after getting into stand-up comedy. Yes. But I've done it a few times, so um, I think it's it's a good challenge, you know? It's a good way to not take yourself so seriously. But what made you want to, one, get up on stage? Push myself out of my comfort zone. Say that I could do it. Prove to myself I could do it. I think I'm funny sometimes. Yeah. Um, but it's a lot different to be funny in front of strangers. So, like, I can make you laugh. I made you laugh a couple times. Yeah, we've been laughing for a while. I made you laugh. But, like, you know, to get in front of strangers and build that, like, rapport and, like... With a crowd. Kind of hard. So, on the drive here, we had a couple... We, we touched on a couple things with the electric vehicle. Um, and EVs, I, I know, like, in my line of work, like, EVs are still very new to, like, the population. Yeah. Like, the charging, the temperature changes, the range changes, yeah. charging at home, charging in public. Uh, with the current state of EVs, do you think, now that you're a Tesla owner, do you think EVs here to stay? Some people say it's a fad. Like, where do you think EVs is going? Look at the growing charging infrastructure. Look at the federal incentives. Like, it's definitely not a fad. Gotcha. I think that it's definitely, but, you know, I never thought that I'd get an EV. I mean, and so I've, I've been kind of in the Tesla scene for about two years, but like prior to that, I was never thinking about EVs. You know, Tesla wasn't even on my radar so much. So now I'm in that family and, and what's really cool is like they're they're fast cars, right? Like you feel cool driving them. You're like this little race car driver. I was very uh Yeah calm right. our trip, but yeah, they're fast. You're driving like uh, I was. But but then you're like, whoa, this is actually good for the environment too. Like I have drip and I'm saving the world. This is really cool. I think they're definitely here to stay. I think we're gonna see, especially with um, you know, more incentives, hopefully more uh, adoption. Uh, keep continue, continuing to build out the charging network, right, to um, make sure people don't have range anxiety and just, just make it easier to own an EV, which I would say, you know, I've only had mine for less than two weeks, um, but it is, a, it is a learning curve and you have to charge it a lot more than you would fill up your tank, but um, I love it so far. So just like EVs, they said electric vehicles would be a fad. Right. And I also think they're here to stay. Yeah. I think it's just kind of the unknown, but once you drive one, again, I think, uh, for example, um, when I drove the Ford Lightning, it was like, not just an EV, but it was a pickup truck. And I remember the same thing. I was like, oh, let me see how much gas this thing has. And it was incredibly fast. That was the fastest pickup truck I've driven. And I was like, okay, this is crazy. Yeah. And again, it didn't feel too out of the norm. Again, I don't own an EV. I always kind of bring it back home and then they charge it. I don't have to worry about finding a charging station or anything like that. But range anxiety is always like the number one thing. Right. Do you know if, so I know Ford and Tesla just combined with the charge network? Yes. Uh, does that include Tesla allowed to charge on Ford stations as well? Like is it? So um, my car came with an adapter. So uh, I enabled it, but there's no one, there's, you know, it's kind of like a last resort. They're so freaking slow. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think it's it's going to be more of a benefit to Ford and GM is also. In yeah, because they're going to start doing the, the NAX port, right? Yes. Yes. And ACS? Yes. Yeah. The most optimal is like if you have a charger installed in your garage and you can just charge it every night while you sleep. Yeah. Not dealing with potential idle fees or whatever else, you know, you yeah. get from the supercharger. But um, yeah. Like, well, yeah, that's the future. I think um, I think a lot of people, too, were also very concerned about like performance. And that's again where I come in. I'm like, have you driven one? It's amazing. Yeah, they're because they're, they're freakishly fast. Yeah. And they handle really well. Yeah. And most of them are all-wheel drive. Yep. Which again, like streams handling and like right. snow, wet, dry. Oh, like yeah. Stuff. No, I feel, I mean, I've always kind of like knocked on the people that like my car is my personality, but like I get it now. I think I'm one of those really annoying people. For news reporting, the SpaceX to Tesla to stand-up comedy, and to your real estate license, what's next for you, your channel? I think eventually I'm gonna go to space. I actually have a zero G flight that I won a seat on, $15,000 ticket to experience weightlessness. So I'm flying out of Houston in October and I'm wow. riding alongside real astronauts, people that have been to space. It's gonna be cool. So where can our viewers actually find Ellie in space? Well, uh, you can look on YouTube, Google, or search Ellie in Space. You can find me on Twitter at eSheriffTV. E, Sheriff, like, Sheriff Deputy, because that's my real name. It's not Space, for all of you who thought it was Space. 
Uh, and then uh, uh, Instagram, Eliana in space, because my full name is Eliana. Find me. Follow me. DM me. Don't be weird. Do you want to be weird? You wouldn't be the first. Thank you so much. I appreciate you taking the time to have really expensive smoothies with us. Talk about EVs. Talk about space. Talk about your journey and share it with us. I'm so honored I, you wanted me to share it. Yeah, I'm rooting for you. I hope you make it to space. I really do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.